Okay. This is going to be the uh, my final shave with Igor before it goes to the next person that's uh, getting it in the pass around to try it out. I had uh, mentioned the other day I was going to move the blade to the other end of the adjustment and it makes for a really nice shave. I, I did that the other day, but uh, we're going to make one more video in case anybody wants to see it. The adjustment, uh, like I had showed, is you uh, undo the handle and it, you move this lever here and, uh, and that moves the, the deck that the blade is on. So we're moving it all the way forward and that means that the blade is out closer to the uh, safety bar up front there. So we've got it adjusted all the way out. I'm going to use Kiss My Face. Pretty nice cream. Get it at Whole Food stores. That's where I found this one and some of the other health food stores like that. This is a green tea and bamboo. I don't know. It's a scent. Uh, badger brush today. Nothing particularly fancy. This is just a generic brush I got from somewhere and it's just some kind of badger hair stuff. I don't know if it's best badger or worst badger or the tail end of the badger, but wherever it came from, it's not a bad little brush, it, but uh, I don't know much about it. It doesn't have a name on it. And I've never worried that much about it. All right, a little wave of the face there. Get a little cream here. And we're just gonna, this actually smells okay. It smells like, well, green tea. So, got that going. Get a little bit off our fingers there so everything don't want to slip and slide. Let's see what we can do with the old brush here. is actually a uh, pretty good cream to kiss my face. I've got a couple of them uh, in there. They generally do pretty good. I find that sometimes I have to use a little bit more uh, cream than I normally would. I guess it's possible that a brushless cream come to think of it. But I don't, I'm not going to say that because I don't really know that. Some people are just blather on about things they don't know. Uh, some people do a lot of things. I try not to. But as you can see, it does work up into a nice lather. And although you can't feel it, I can. It's a very nice, slick lather and cushion. It's just what, what you would want. So, Igor, handmade, California, one of a kind. Turned all the way up. It is not hard at all to find the angle with it. Like I said, even when it turned down, you had a good blade feel. And when it turned up, it's uh, it's nice. I don't know if you can hear it on the video. It also talks a little bit. It's not as loud as say, you know, one of the old Lather catchers there, but uh, they're certainly not quite. Very smooth, Tom. You did a uh, excellent job, El Capitan. We have a uh, web forum that I've mentioned in uh, some of the descriptions and stuff called uh, the original safety two that's all one word and a letter two at the end the original safety com. and all we do is uh single edge and injector razors no cart razors none of that d stuff no straight razors they're known as unmentionables so if you would like to know more about single edge razors pop in over there and sign up and say hi i'm uh, the uh, inventor of this, the creator, the builder of this is a moderator over there. I'm an admin. You'll see this. All right. Now, when it was turned down, I had a little issue. And, uh, I wasn't getting this big old honking chin I got very well.
with it turned up, that issue kind of went away. Well, that, and this is my fourth shave with it, so I've Maybe this be that uh, I finally figured it out after four shaves. I should have got a couple more shaves out of it, but uh, you know, work can interfere with things and all kinds of this stuff. Okay, first page. Uh, first page. Yeah, okay. First pass is done. Everything looking good for a first pass. I, like I said, I didn't do as good on the chin as I would normally do, but I'm blaming that on me. Get another round of lather on. We're gonna have to add just a little bit, and I'm just gonna add a little bit right to the top of the brush. I, I, for some reason, just kiss my face sometimes you have to. Of course, this also isn't the best badger brush in the world, and yada yada yada, whatever reason, don't matter. I'm a professional man. I can make it work. I can make it work. All right, so here we go to the second pass. Usual, we're going to do a little angle thing here. Come under the neck at a pretty good angle. I uh, personally don't do much if any of uh, uh against the grain i just i don't need to but my routine my routine is a uh, got it clean my routine is uh with the grain and then across the grain and then i do a uh witch hazel touch up if this is your first time watching one of these uh, that's my normal Routine. So that's in right there. All right, and then we want to green got a little thick on me. Right. We'll go this way. Yeah. You can see that this rate. I, I, I mentioned this, and other people have. You got to shake the razor out to get the water out of it, or it tends to want to thin your uh, lather out. Isn't always what you want. It's not a problem. I have to do the same thing with a 1924. I think it is easily. I got one that's uh, a 24 or 14. I've got one or the other that uh, I have to shake out after every time I rinse it. Uh, all right, I'm gonna bottom this here chin. Oh yeah. So, second pass. Pretty nice. I got even go so far as to say, very nice. Get all that off. Always dry dry my face off before I put the witch hazel on. That way it goes on full strength. Using the witch hazel instead of a lather for another pass for the cleanup. Personally, I've always got a little bit left down under here that I have to work on, and sometimes around the ears I get a little sloppy. But by using the uh, witch hazel instead of lather for the last pass, you can feel rough areas uh, as you're putting it on. It's nice and plenty slick. You get plenty of glide with the razor. You don't have to worry about that. Even if you need to do a little buffing. Hey Tom, you can buff with Igor. No problem at all. Yeah, get under there and do a little buffing. Maybe a little. A little clean up right around right there. I almost feel like Bob Ross doing the happy little trees. Alright. And that's the shade, boys and girls. Last one with Igor, I'll get it mailed out to the next person on the list tomorrow. So that they can have their chance with it. 
I call it a success. I've enjoyed every shave with it from the very first one. The second shave, I adjusted the uh, the uh, blade plate to the middle. Third blade, I was all the way up on it. And then this shave, I'm all the way up on it to uh, demonstrate how it does. And to me, all the way forward, most aggressive, best way to do it. But then again, any adjustable I have, generally, the answer is the top number. Just how it is. Well, we appreciate you. Tom, I uh, enjoyed it. Thank you for letting me uh, use that. We'll get it out. A little stetson to finish everything up. And it's great. Thank you.